Hello everybody and welcome to, uh, I guess you could say this is Toon Kind. It's in the same world. We'll figure it out. Welcome to session zero of, um, the Ancient Yeddo campaign, which is, uh, something I've been holding on to for a while now. Uh, really excited to kick this off. Um... Would, uh, I did not introduce myself. My name is Avi, uh, and I'll be your DM for this campaign. Uh, would my, uh, lovely, lovely players please introduce yourselves? Uh, I suppose we'll go down the list. Yes. Hi, hello everyone. I am Noodle or Pasta or Udon or whichever variation thereof y'all are feeling like today. And... This will be fun. This is great. I totally have characters ready. Yep, I know what they look like. Definitely. Mm hmm. All right. Hi. I am Fletch. Uh, I have somewhat of a character idea, being that they are just a guy, because every party needs their designated just a guy. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Where is he? Is he oh, okay? shit. <laughs> Hi, I'm Marcy. <laughs> I'm so very prepared, and I have my head on straight. It's, everything's fine. No, don't worry about it. This is an informal session. This is session zero. Hi, uh, I'm Mira, and uh, uh, I went very feral, especially considering the fact that uh, when when Avi asked if we wanted to, brain went burr, and by the next day I had a full entire character of a character sheet. So, hi, I am I have been brain rotting about this for months. Hello. I am Oatmeal, uh, and I likewise already have a pretty fleshed out character. Um, yeah, you shall see. And hi, I am Spec. I got, I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> don't, don't worry about it. As you see, as you can see, we all have some variations. Of, uh, of a character, but uh, I'm hoping that uh, at least by the end of uh, the session zero, we will have more ideas at the very least. Um, but uh, I think what I'm going to um, start with, um, I guess just for posterity's sakes, um, I'm going to talk a little bit about um, Yeto. Uh, as a country and world building, um, I have a bottle of water. I'm going to be doing a lot of talking, so if you hear me pause, you know what's going on. Um, uh, so, yeah. Um, ancient Yeddo. This is a, a real kind country that is a far ways away from, um, from Einquell. Um, so therefore... Toons can appear, uh, but they are extremely rare here in Yeddo. Um, in fact, you're more likely to see the more rare uh, kinds of real kinds around here in uh, in Yeddo. Uh, it's a very it's a very uh, interesting place. Let's just go with that. Um, High key, this place is based on Japan, specifically the Japan that it appears in the Persona games, because I am that bitch. <laughs> and we love you. Um, and, yeah. <laughs> uh, where would I be without you guys? But, yes, um... Uh, Ancient Yeddo, um is unique in the in the way that uh their i guess not really religion but culture works um there is a saying 
um, about the deities of Yeddo. Uh, specifically about the eight million gods. This is a tiny island country with many, many, many deities. Um, so much so, in fact, that it's unlikely to follow a specific god, but to follow a set of gods that fit within your principles. Um, and because there are just so many, like, deities around, um, there is bound to, be, bound to be some overlaps with domains and whatnot, um, but one other thing that uh, H. Nieto uh, does enjoy is the uh, belief behind masks. Uh, oh, uh, we just got a update from uh, Spec. Okay, no worries. Take your time, Spec. <laughs> um, um, uh, where was I? Masks. Right. Um, this is a, uh, this country uh, and its culture is very into the belief of, um, there are many different selves that a person presents throughout their lifetimes, and we all, uh, and we all, uh, switch between these masks depending on certain, uh, situations. Um, and, um, well, uh, masks are used to represent these personalities within us, uh, they take on the shapes of, like, different things, they could be demonic or, uh, fey or what have you, um, that one goes out to Marzi because I love you. Um, he he he. The thing about uh, Ancient Yeddo is that most of their shrines do take the practice of masks and whatnot uh, very uh, seriously. Uh, to the point where, like, masks being used as decorations is very common uh, in shrines. Um... There's also practices in making and giving uh, masks, um, which is seen uh, as something very intimate and personal. Um, I think uh, I discussed a while back that uh, the trading of masks is can sometimes be a marriage proposal in some cases. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much the basics behind uh, Ancient Yeddo. Um, and, uh, I guess, starting now, we can, uh, go through, uh, our players, and we can discuss characters. Um, uh, whoever wants to go first can go first, uh, because I know some of you guys have a lot more than others, or a lot less than others. Um, just... Keep an ear out if there's, like, some stuff you want to, like, uh, chime in on and whatnot. If you have any questions. Um, yeah. Uh, again, this is an informal, uh, session. Um, so don't worry if you don't have ideas yet. Uh, we still have time. Um, this is just to help us flesh out. Uh, alright, who wants to go first? Uh, can can I go first? Because yeah. I, I have a character thing <laughs> that I would really quickly like to reveal. <laughs> um, Mira, I love hi. you so much. <laughs> <laughs> hi! Um, resident super big brain rot here. Um, I have such big great brain rot that uh, I have included a voice mod with my character. And, nice. Uh, Heads up, I am going to be tweaking one of the voices for my character, uh, the reason for which will be apparent eventually, but uh, I want to unveil the voice I have for my character, Hayato. Oh boy. 
And oh this is this is his voice. Hi, this is the Himbo Hayato. <laughs> Ooh, wow, that's fun. <laughs> oh, I love, oh I love you, but that is not a good voice feel. <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy. oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh, we're gonna mess around with this so much. Um, Mira, uh, uh. <laughs> Mira. <Ooh. laughs> if you want... <laughs> sorry, that took me out. Welcome to Ancient Yeddo, where voice mod kills DM. <laughs> oh. oh my god! <laughs> I think that I think that was a total party kill right there. Yeah. <laughs> Um, oh, God. um, if you want to hop up the, the, the voice mod and tell us a little bit about Hayato, uh, Hayato. Uh, I, I have switched back off of, uh, Hayato's voice, but yeah, uh, Hayato, he is a himbo who is going to be diving with the feeling of masks a lot because... Boy, howdy, I did not initially intend for this, but yeah, uh, his backstory really, really, really fits into this lore for this campaign. Uh, he is, he is uh, a human with glasses, uh, dark eyes, and he has the kind of anime traditional uh, blue back, uh, back, blue black hair that he likes to keep up in a ponytail, uh, well not a ponytail, uh, a bun. Usually with some blue flowers, kind of as a band around it, and uh, he he's a cleric. All right, so right off the bat, we have a uh, human cleric. Um, do you want to go a little bit be uh, into um, his background as much as you uh, can? Sorry, could you repeat that question? Uh, could, uh, could you go into a little bit about his background? Uh, just so... Okay, okay. Uh, his background is that uh, he comes from a shady past, uh, but he's doing his best to be better, and he, through circumstances that I have not fully ironed out, he uh, has somehow become a mask cleric. Yes, uh, a follower of Aperture specifically. Yep. <laughs> he saw a butterfly and went burr. <laughs> Pretty much. Oh uh, god. Uh, which is which is exciting because you're going to be playing pa uh, with past Aperture. Uh, that is going to be an interesting uh, take. Um, Oh boy. Yeah. Um, yeah, past Aperture. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, for, for, for reference, uh, Aperture in present, uh, Draft House timeline, I guess you could say, is nothing short of a wet towel. <laughs> mm hmm. He's uh, not doing so good. He's not doing so great. Um, Aperture in the past, however, is kind of cocky. Uh, he still holds to those like same same principles of like uh, being more of a guide than he is a deity. So while he does have followers, they are kind of few, if that makes sense. Um, they're definitely a lot less, uh, uh, a lot less than, like, other deities, etc., etc., that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, anything else you want to add about, Hi uh, Hayato? Oh, you're muted. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Sorry, I was, um, blowing my nose. No, that's uh, <laughs> Um... Honestly, my brain is kind of uh, sitting on several secrets that I, I want to play out and reveal later. But yeah, I, I have a very fleshed out character that I vibrate over because I just, hi, brain rot has been for, it has been constant. 
Yeah. Oh boy, Hi Hayato is a boy full of secrets. <laughs> yeah, very That's secret fun. boy. Um. Uh, and uh, yeah. Uh, that's Hayato, our human cleric. Um, does anybody else want to go next? Uh, I can go. I have a lot. Oh yes, Oatmeal, you sent oh, me. Boy. You sent me. Uh, as there's cluttering in the background, give me a second. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh boy. <laughs> This is good. This is great. This is so much fun. We love this. <laughs> yeah, I should actually probably pull up that information. Uh, where is it? There it is. I need to finish filling out some things in this character sheet. Oops. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and talk over that and see if stuff quiet down. Anyway, uh, Oatmeal, you sent me a, uh, a document with quite a bit of information behind your character. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yep. Uh, I, I basically sent Avi, like, uh, um, her background, um, uh, origin story, all that stuff, um, and, uh, yeah, so, all right, uh, basics, I am playing, um, uh, a small black, uh, turtle monk. Um, I love uh, yeah, uh, she's, uh, her, uh, subclass is Way of the Mask, uh, which is, uh, which is the, the Apertura homebrew. Um, uh, her name is... Iwata Iori, but uh, she is known more widely as uh, Kame, which is um, incidentally the Japanese word for turtle. <laughs> and yeah, and um, uh, yeah, I mean, she's she's just like a a small turtle armed with a bow staff, mostly she, uh, like you might expect from a monk, I mean, you can have all sorts of monks, but like, uh, very minimalistic, like stuff wise, you know, she doesn't have a lot of material belongings, um, etc. And she's kind of, um, want traveling, wandering from place to place, uh, as we, um, intercept her in the present. Um, yeah, I'm not sure how much of the other stuff I want to actually reveal. Um, that is at it's... your discretion. <laughs> yeah, I, um, uh, it's very, it's dark. Um, <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. Oh dear. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I, I'm just gonna read the the now portion of my uh, little document because it's um, it covers how she is in the present without giving away what happened. So, um, uh, Kama has been treated uh, traveling for nearly two years, um, rather far from where she started. Uh, despite her unusual appearance, again. Turtle. She is rarely seen as a threat due to her small size and calm demeanor. She lives off the land and uh, trades labor for coin, food, and shelter. Uh, she excels at farm labor and cleaning, but is willing to work at other tasks. Uh, wherever she goes, she is especially uh, respectful to local shrines and will go out of her way to visit them. Um, she has a gra she has gradually gained a reputation of being sort of quietly troubled due to. Mm, I mean, you know, you stay at an inn, you have a nightmare, you wake up screaming, you do that about 12 times and people start to notice. Um, oh yep. <laughs> yeah, uh, the thousand yard stare doesn't help. Uh, however, uh, her eagerness to help and her intense dislike of evil help endear her to most average people she meets. She's kind of low key, like a cryptid, uh, since word travels faster than she does. Um, 
Yeah, so she's 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 got kind of a vibe of being a little spooky. And and it's we do fair. love to to see it. Um, love the vibes <laughs> so far in this. Uh... <coughs> Excuse me. Love the vibe so far that we have with just these two alone. <laughs> uh, fantastic. It's very good. Yeah. Um, I forgot to ask Mira this, so I'm gonna ask both of you guys. Uh, it won't go. Um. Uh, do you guys have like any idea of a like a uh, place of origin? Uh, based on any of the uh locations I've already panned out. Hmm. Hmm. Um, I do have them pinned in the player's chat. If Oh, thank you. I yes, I did. Yeah, I... I, I need to look. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I don't remember which one is which, but mine would probably be, like, middle-ish uh, population-wise. Like, not super urban, but also not super, super rural. Not that they had, like, suburbs, but just one of those in-between places. I don't remember which one's which here. Yeah. Uh, yeah, not the capital and not, like, in right. the middle of nowhere. All right. I probably then would be Daitoa, which mm -hmm. is a uh, port town mm -hmm. uh, off yeah. the west of, um, of Yeddo. Um, fishing is a major business here. It is a, it is a fishing town. Um, uh, but you, uh, because Yeddo is in a period where, uh, they have just gotten out of, um, uh, closing off the borders, so to speak, they have just finished, mm -hmm. like, uh, they have just opened up the borders again, uh, you mm -hmm. may have, uh, encountered travelers from other countries, specifically, mm -hmm. Maybe, uh, from, I look at Fletch and Marzi, horse and all. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Smiles. <laughs> your, little, mm -hmm. your little French musical country. Nice. Okay. Friends. Finger guns. Yeah, no, Maybe that works great. So write that'll... down stuff about that. Mm. Um, can... Considering uh, Hayato's backstory, I think uh, where he would have originated from initially, like, before starting his journey and stuff, uh, he probably actually was in uh, Okashima, Ooh. in the capital, for a good amount of time, until leaving for undisclosed reasons. <laughs> I look at some of the stuff you've sent me. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but yeah. Alright, well, was Oatmeal, were you going to say something else? Oh, uh, nope, just that's, um, probably, Dayatawa was probably where she would have, uh, originated, and just probably isn't there currently. Yeah, alright. Uh, and I'm gonna make a note of that, just so I can keep a map. I'm gonna have to make a map of Yeto later, that's a note to self. Anyway. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, but that's, uh, uh, Hayato and, uh, Kame. Um, please correct me if I mispronounce things. Uh, even though this is based on Japan, I am hella American. Uh, mm. butchering of the yeah, language is going to happen. Um. <laughs> I, um, the, the one thing is, um, uh, what helped me, because I, I, uh, also American, look at the, uh, the name k-a-m-e and want to pronounce it kame um it's it's like kame so it's like the word comet without the t at the end I so see. that's how i remember it yeah not yeah it's not gonna bug me if you slip up but or i mean i'll probably slip up too but like yeah that's how i try to remember it anyway would you like a cat girl? Yes, please tell us about your cat girl. Uh, so Harumi, originally, uh, Minako, uh, I've thus renamed because Fletcher thought he'd be funny. <laughs> and I was like, you know what? Fine. Uh, so don't, don't, don't worry about where the name Harumi is from. <laughs> oh boy. 
Oh yeah, she she was supposed to be a funny haha cat girl, uh, super energetic. She's not. As soon as I I made her, she was like, no, no, I'm actually the prim and proper princess type. Uh, not literally. She's not actually royalty. I've been sitting here having vague thoughts as everyone else is talking. <laughs> uh, and what I have very quickly jotted down is that she is from a family of entertainers from Okashima. And in her family, around her age, everyone goes on a bit of a, like, just a pilgrimage around the country. Just see sights and become more traveled and, and learn more about about the country in which they live. Uh, like I said, she's the prim and proper type. Uh, no tragic backstory here. She is literally, this is something her family does <laughs> traditionally. She loves her family. She regularly writes to them. They write How back. How many siblings? Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. <laughs> How many siblings, Marzi? I haven't decided, but I know it's going to be a big family. She's a tabaxi. Yes! <laughs> Fuck off. I can't, I can't make a character who has a small family. I know Speak this, this and I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Just fuck you, I'm giving her seven siblings. <laughs> oh, God. I'm writing that down. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you, uh... Ooh, sorry. If you say that she's a uh, prim and proper uh, pr kind of personality and that she is an entertainer from Okashima... She might not be royalty, but she does give me the vibes of a noble. That's my eyelashes at you. Yes. I didn't know if that'd be okay. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm, I would be totally fine with that. Fuck yes. Um, something, something. Maybe her family is well respected by the uh, other nobles in Okashima. Yeah. They're the very prim and proper. Uh, I my I wanted her to be a uh, mask bard, but so many people are choosing mask subclasses that I always hey, want to and... pick something different. You're so valid. You can you can do whatever you want. Um, yeah, it is fitting to have so many though. It is it very is. fitting. It's very, and it is very funny. It is very fitting and it is very funny. Um, so, uh, again, take your time deciding. If you if you choose a mask bard, I do not mind, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it would make sense if she was, like, a performer, mm. too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because maybe it's just it's just characters that I'm currently working with who are worming their way into my mind, but I did write down dancer and fortune teller. Who? <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. Yo, ancestor. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I can't believe down in their fam like down in their family line they have a little bit of tabaxi. <laughs> it would be funny. Oh, it would be really funny. Are we God. surprised? <laughs> That'd be really, really funny if just that <laughs> way back in their family tree, they are s there's some small part tabaxi. There was a cat in their family. Once. 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 <laughs> That's really it's fucking like, funny. It's like a Ferdinand Nino Kuni situation. Oh my god! <laughs> actually, actually, uh, Marzi... On the mm -hmm. subject of your character being a, uh, bard, and, um, and being uh, an entertainer in Okashima, I did have an NPC. <laughs> oh? Yeah. Um, who is also a mask bard. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> um, but not in the graceful sense. <laughs> Um, so there is a very good chance that, uh, uh, how do you pronounce it? Harumi? Yeah, Harumi. Harumi. There's a very good chance that Harumi knows this character 
simply because of just being in the same profession and in the same, like, relative Her location. Mm. Hermie does also have seven siblings. And she also has seven siblings. Um, and if she is a noble that is respected in Okashima, he would definitely know of her. Um, this, uh, I don't have a lot on him. Uh, all I have is that his name is Yoto Kamura. And, uh, oh. again, he is a mask bard, and he is a half-orc. Hmm. Friends. <laughs> Friends. Because I love the thought of my small, prim, and proper little tabaxi noble being friends with this hat work who, is, who probably dwarfs her. <laughs> yes! Uh, because he is, uh, he is a bard. Uh, again, he is not a bard in the graceful sense. Uh, mm. He is, um, it is, it is a lot like, I think, I want to say it's Kabuki. Mm. I might be wrong. But uh, his style is a lot more expressive and loud because of that's just how it fits him. Mm. <laughs> oh my god, they were opposites. Oh, yeah, they were opposites. <laughs> Um, oh my god, and they were opposite. <laughs> oh god. Uh, I love that already. I'm I'm loving this makeup already. Uh, we have a human cleric, uh, a turtle monk, and a neat little uh, tabaxi bard. She was very much inspired by, I don't know if people have seen that art, of like, there's a Tumblr post that's like one very small cat absolutely sandwiched by two bigger cats. <gasps> yes! And, and it, yes! And people who have drawn art for it have, like, like all collectively decided not only is the smaller cat a princess but the, mm -hmm. and the bigger cats are her bodyguards, but they are samurai. Yes. 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 Mm -hmm. I so love that is, post. She is very inspired. We love. Like, Harumi is very inspired by that post in particular. Mm -hmm. You are <laughs> so valid. All right, uh, and if that's all you've got on Harumi so far, yeah, that's all I've, I've jotted down in my notebook. Yeah. Um. If anybody else wants to go, I could. All right, noodle. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. We have so many natives, and now I have an idiot who shipwrecked here. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, beloved. Different from where? Um, so I have a delightful character. He is a human. His name is Aurelio. Um, I haven't quite figured out all of the details of where he's from, but I do know it's one of those, like, you know, you hear about them all the time, those really powerful magical civilizations that advance with Magitek that in the future are nothing more than runes. He's from one of those. And it's hmm. a bit it's it's a bit of a ways away from Yeto. Um and he is a multi-class uh he's he is a wizard and something else. Which I might reveal later as I ramble. Um but he's a wizard. He was studying some weird phenomenon um back where he's from, and went to go seek out more of this. And, uh, well, on the way, um, his ship kinda got screwed over, and he washed ashore in Yeddo, and is now very confused because this is not where he was planning to go, nor where he expected to go, but he's kinda gonna just roll with it. <laughs> It's fine. This place, you know, someone mentioned that, uh... Oh, this place has eight million gods? Huh. That's fascinating. Sure, why not? I can stay here and study until I find a new ship to continue. <laughs> yeah, so he's, he's, you know, he's around. He's doing that. Um, 
he's a bit stuck up and thinks he's the smartest person in every room. Oh, he's one of those. Oh, he's, he's one, one of, of those. those. Yes. Um, mm-hmm. And I took five minutes to make him in Picru. It's fine. Don't worry about it. I'll share later, maybe. <laughs> I hate that the moment you said that about his personality, I was like, oh, Juby too. Yeah, no, not yeah. Juby. <laughs> <laughs> Jubilee knows he's a dumbass. Um, he still acts like he's pompous. Yeah. No, this is more like the quiet I'm judging you from afar and think you're fascinating and I'm going to study you like a cockroach. Oh my god. Oh, like Poppy. Okay. I'm, yeah. I'm just sitting here and going, oh no. Hayato and this character are gonna meet and like not it's gonna it's gonna go a certain way. I don't know oh. if it's gonna be good or not. It'll I just, go. I love the thought of your character and Harumi just kind of like just very evenly looking at each other, silently judging each other. Yes. I do uh, have mild-headed hands, but you'll understand when I get to my character. Um, I just sit here and point my boys at him, though. He's gonna be judged so hard. Yeah. Um, I will also note, just to reveal, because don't worry about it, this is not a rogue. Okay. Um, he is... Also, part warlock. Oh, no. Yes. Oh, no. He is a wizard warlock. Oh, it's boy. great. God. This I look at very Seth squishy. Look away. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, no. This is very squishy. It's fine. Um, his uh, patron will come up later. But I will say it is not any of the gods from Yeto. Mm. Uh, because, you know, Aurelio's not from here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's fine. I'm also realizing uh, I just looked over his sheet again because I do have his sheet made. Uh, I forgot that he has, uh, he can, you know, speak. What is that? Telepathically? Yeah, he can do that. Um <laughs> I didn't realize this, and now I am, and I'm like, oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> this is great. I'm so excited for you guys to meet this asshole. <laughs> I forget, is this the one who's, uh... I Did you mention, uh, the, the race of this character? Yeah, he is, he's, uh, variant human. I had started making oh. a different character originally, but uh -huh. I pivoted okay got it got it because look uh scribe wizard very cool mm, mm -hmm. good aesthetic mm -hmm. yeah gotcha yeah um so that's 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 aurelio and i was debating this character for a while up until now where i was like yeah you know i really want to have wizard um mm -hmm. <laughs> so there I will send our delightful DM more things oh absolutely please do uh, also if you have that pick crew we do have a character F's channel if you want to drop them in there <laughs> okay, uh sure I go now? Mm -hmm. yeah noodle beloved I am head in hands because I am playing a human researcher who is not from ghetto <laughs> <laughs> I have no I have no idea about this by the way. I have I, no idea. I love you. I am not changing my character concept in the slightest because this is the third character I've on. This is fine. Handshake. We can research the people here together. It's great. They're anthropologists. Lab <laughs> partners. So I'm just head in hands noodle. Hi, we we share one brain cell. Don't you just love how this turns out, guys? <laughs> the amount of be great. Like, the amount of times we've I have accidentally walked on someone else's idea, like behind the scenes, and had to completely change what I was doing because it was too close to another person's uh -huh. is wild. 
<laughs> what if we were both wizards from afar and- No! I'm a <laughs> <laughs> I will kick your ass! <laughs> <laughs> oh, fantastic. Uh, um Okay. Oh, okay. Before we yeah, before also we... you'll never believe what a class spec was looking at. <laughs> oh oh god. Uh we we sure have a time here. Yeah. Even when we try to make a diverse party, the old AI all DPS comes back to haunt us. No <laughs> <was back>. spec. <laughs> back. Oh, god. Um, I will say, but because um, um, because warlock is the multi class that you're going into, I believe. Uh, uh noodle. I don't mind if anybody yeah. wants to take Warlock as their main class. Um, yeah. So, uh, Spec, if you want to keep with Warlock, don't worry about it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for real. Warlocks can be so varied. It is so different. Yeah. Your Warlock will not end up like this one, I promise you. Yeah. It's okay. It's okay. Um. Session zeros are fun. They sure... <laughs> I'm sorry, uh, Spec, do you need a moment? <laughs> Alright. Okay. Friends okay, the so... Don't worry about it. <laughs> Noodle, I love you. We absolutely cannot be <laughs> lab partners. <laughs> uh, but... Like, I know you can't be on my dodgeball team. I have very <laughs> specific lore for Hibiki already. <laughs> There's a reason why we cannot be lab partners. I'm just memeing. It's cool. Um, I'll win you yeah. over eventually. Um, uh, uh, before we move on, uh, Noodle... I mean, I can talk more. <laughs> or we can talk about Noodle. I don't know. No, I, I did just... Blah, 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 blah. Uh, I did just want to ask something really quickly. Noodle. Mm -hmm. Yes. Do you have an idea as to where your character ended up when they shipwrecked? Um. I didn't have a specific idea. It was mainly wherever would be most convenient for him to have shipwrecked for you. With okay. plot wise. Alright. Yeah. Um. In that case, um, well, we already have somebody from Daitoa. Sonomaru mm -hmm. is another, uh, coast town, but it's on the other side of Yaido. Mm -hmm. Um, but that is a larger trade, uh, city. Um, that's fair. Yeah. Just oh, I'm looking at that. Oh, that's fitting, too. That's very fitting, knowing this character. Yeah, that's neat. And where they're where they're gonna go. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Is, yeah, yeah, yeah. It is currently where the only shrine dedicated to Apertura is. Um but yes. Um Fletch if you want to continue about Hibiki. Okay. Yeah, I simply just wanted to put the information out there in a very funny way. Um, because <laughs> we can't keep doing this now. <laughs> uh, I had no idea I cannot be guilty of this. I have had this character concept for months. <laughs> you had, like, two character concepts and you were, like, going back and forth between them for a while. Yeah, right? like, because yeah. I changed my... I believe my second character concept because I was thinking of doing our barbarian. And what then I remember this? you saying that you had a barbarian that you were planning yeah. on fleshing out. So I changed to rogue. <laughs> Where was it? In June. In June, I sent Avi the message, hey, do you want a wizard? God. I had an... I changed from barbarian for you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> We're great at communicating. Well, guys. We're so good at this. 
Um. But yeah, but that's why we're okay. here, guys. We're figuring things out. <laughs> anyway, tell us a little bit about Hibiki. Alright, just give me one moment. Okay, Iggy is still being a window boy. Tell Iggy I love them. Alright, Iggy! You are loved. <laughs> He's just staring at me. I think he gets the message. Cool. The tone okay. of your voice when you say his name. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like I wanted he was in trouble. <laughs> I wanted to get his attention, okay? Yeah, you're a good window boy. But yeah, so Hibiki, um, they are the complete opposite of Noodle's character, personality-wise. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Hibiki probably has clinical anxiety. Um, <laughs> not that we. Not that that existed in ancient times, but it's fine. It's um, cool, it's chill. <laughs> therapy might not be invented for 200 years or so, but it'll be fine. Uh, yeah, Hibiki is kind of a wreck, is literally just a guy, TM. Uh, is a human anthropologist who is not originally from Yeddo, so is still kind of learning how to interact in this culture as a person. Um, and he kind of just... <laughs> he's kind of just, uh, just a guy. Like, if you know Professor Laventon from... Um, Legends Arceus, then... Oh my yeah, god. That's, <laughs> oh my god. That is, that is a little bit about what Hibiki is like, personality-wise. Like, just, love just a guy. <laughs> oh, and, fantastic. Um, last name pending, probably something French, because uh, Avi mentioned Forsna being a possibility, and so... Sets them being from uh, Forsana, mm -hmm. but is now in Yeddo to learn how to be a, a functional human person in Yiddish society. <laughs> <laughs> is he doing a good job? We'll find out. Yeah, <laughs> probably not. Um, but yeah, so just wants to learn is pretty enthusiastic about a lot of things which would probably be weird to the average person but again is not from he is not <laughs> he's from new around. in town and it gets <laughs> worse I love that you compared him to Laventon and Laventon is like I'm pretty sure isn't he like Galarian and he's in um fucking Hisui I love yeah. this French is it guy Fletcher's in turn on the British? no he's God. French that's what you think. <laughs> Noodle, I swear to fuck, if you are playing another British person, <laughs> Stop, if you're playing you another British I haven't you... figured out the voice yet. I might if you antagonize me. I'll kill you. We will antagonize you more. <laughs> bullying. Okay, love that. Yes. We, we love to bully here. But yeah, um... Yeah, for the record, uh, no, he's Hibiki. not British. <laughs> I think he's just a pretty, not at all laid back person, but probably pretty easy to get along with if you doesn't exactly have the best memory of things. So if you say that he did something, he will believe you on that front. No! <laughs> no! Don't gaslight him! <laughs> No! Like, if some random person approached him on the street and said, Hey, dude, you owe me, like, five gold. He'd go, ah, I guess I forgot. Hand them five gold and leave. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> I'm just sitting here holding him. <laughs> I look at you, Fletch. <laughs> I would rather pass DMs! <laughs> oh my fucking god! So, just, just a 
a funny little human guy. Damn, I can't believe Harumi's the only fucking normal one here. I mean, <laughs> you know, yeah. he was probably more normal by Force and Oz standards. Probably. <laughs> but, he's uh, a foreigner. Yeah, he's a foreigner. So, um, probably stopped off in one of the port towns, I think. Alright. Um, uh, no specific one yet? Uh, which do you think would be better as holder of the lore? Well, again, uh, Sonomaru is the uh, larger of the two port towns, and is a major uh, Hang on, if I can find the description for it. Sonomaru is larger and is uh, a big uh, trade area. Uh, meanwhile, Daitoa is on the other side and is still... Um, um, right. It it's really depends on like what kind of... What you think would like best be best. Um, maybe Sonomaru? Alright! But yeah, so... <laughs> I hand the party the designated just a guy TM. Find a nickel for every time Fletcher had just a guy. <laughs> Listen, it's fun to play! It's really funny. Someone has to. <laughs> So while you were talking about your fun, funky, just a guy researcher who is into like, it's like what is it that he's re looking into? What is he interested in? Um, basically looking into uh, Yiddish culture. Um, every time you ask him, they will come up with like a new specific aspect. If you need them to narrow it down, it is never the same thing twice. <laughs> They're just a little bit scatterbrained. I love, <laughs> love that. them already. <laughs> Alright, anything else? Um... I don't think so. Uh... Definitely not harboring any violent tendencies. <laughs> this is just the guy. Definitely not. Yeah, oh, definitely yeah. not. Bitch! Do not worry about this funny little rogue. Oh my god. Oh boy. <laughs> Is that why you rogue. said if the multi-class was a rogue? Like I, like I said, oh my they god. are a rogue. Um, though, if Barbarian is free, I might go over to Barbarian because there's a lot of squishies. We'll figure that out later. Yeah, we'll, we'll again, we'll... Uh... I... Oh. Sorry, I love the thought of a Barbarian researcher. <laughs> <laughs> there are no violent tendencies in Hibiki. This is simply a living doormat, TM. <laughs> Sometimes when the research hits... What the reason? Yo, when the research hits, just activate rage. Uh, but yeah, no, Noodle. If your character said, honestly, if your character said that their lab partners of Hibiki, Hibiki would probably believe them. Oh, oh my goodness. god. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Ibiki, like, please. I cannot tell you just how easily, just how forgetful and scatterbrained. I'm so glad Aurelio's lawful neutral. I'm so glad Aurelio's <laughs> lawful neutral. <laughs> anyway. Oh, hey. The one aspect I struggle with with character design, I don't actually know what uh, Hayato's morality is yet. Mm. I, I look at Avi in our DMs, I don't know. <laughs> morality is funky, though maybe if you're worried you can do neutral now, uh, knowing you they will probably end up as good later on, mm -hmm. but that's incredibly mm -hmm. valid. Um, 
backstory, uh, neutral would maybe fit. I just, I have a hard time pinning down the D&D alignment scale. Yeah, mm. fair. I'll, I will say outright, um, never have I ever played a character who has kept the same alignment throughout a campaign or series. Um, if you write something down for your alignment and you find out that it has changed later down the line, that's fair. Um, uh, the, uh, if you do decide to change it, though, let me know just so I can, like, keep track mm-hmm. of that kind of stuff. Um, but... Yeah, like, don't, don't worry, Mira. I originally put Camille down as neutral good instead <laughs> of chaotic. <laughs> So, <laughs> trust me. Uh, <laughs> trying to process the idea of Camille as neutral anything. <laughs> I've been looking at this child and going, yeah, that's neutral. I know, so don't worry about getting it wrong. <laughs> In fair, I look at Sammy and he, like, facilitates between lawful and chaotic goods. So, I mean, I just shrug. That way sometimes. And we have barking outside our window. Um, delightful. Ducky. Uh, Ducky. but yes. Um, that's about what we have. Uh, for Hibiki, right? Is there anything else you want to share, or? I think. I think I'm pretty good. Alright. Uh, we do have one last player left. Um, uh, let me know if you're good to go. No, that's fine. Hang on a second. We can take a small break, I yeah, think. Yeah, we can mm-hmm. take a small break. Mm. Um... Yeah, let's take a 15-minute break. Mm-hmm. Uh, and we'll meet back at, let's say, 30 in, on the half hour. Yeah, yeah. All right, mm-hmm. okay. Cool. Yeah. Eee, gonna make more tea. Mm. Smart. I'm just sitting here. I have nothing to do for break. I'm good. Runs immediately to Oatmeal's DMs. <laughs> Hi, Katie. Hello, Are dear the friend assholes in the bonding? What did you just say about me, you little bitch? <laughs> <laughs> I was referring to your characters, but uh, if you're Ruby isn't you an think asshole, still no. that, then, uh... why would you ever think that about Ruby? <laughs> because I like to be mean to you. I'll kill you. <laughs> no, oh it's for God. commissions because I I was telling people that I don't have any food. I hold you so gentle. I feel bad asking for help. You're so valid. I forgot how squishy wizards are. (laughs) You got a d6 for your health, homie. I don't know how to tell you. I- okay, look. The hit points are not that bad. I forgot the AC is 10. (laughs) Oh god. Oh god. Did you not give yourself dex? No. Oh no! no! I point at this person and the fact that Aurelia is like built for research and study. He doesn't think he's going to be getting into a fight. He's like, this is fine. Also, good lord, the two different modifiers for spells. Everything's great in two different stats for spellcasters. Boy. 
this is what you've done to yourself. It is. I have two different save DCs. It's great. I mean, at <laughs> least you can use your wizard spell slots for warlock spells. I, I guess. can. I yeah, think. So at least you have that. Hopefully. Yeah, I think I can. Also, there's the fact that a lot of these spells I'm looking. This is great. We love this so much. I love having six first level spell <laughs> slots. This is so nice. And then two second level. This is great. This is fantastic. And no dark vision. I got too used to having dark vision with all of my characters. That was your first mistake. Yep. I'm so glad I took Warcaster. I fucking have songs from Clockmaker's Daughter stuck in my head. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I've, been, I've been cursed with this musical for weeks now. <laughs> it is like all I can listen to, like Fletcher, in a way that would make you physically sick. Fair. It's such a good musical. need to figure out lots of things. I've never played a wizard before. It was interesting. I have so many thoughts zooming around in my little Marzi head. And shake. You have so many zoomy thoughts? Same. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I think about Azumi so much. I love him. Yes, what an asshole. Mm -hmm. Love that asshole. I love that absolute asshole of a what man. What about my asshole? He's not even in this time period. <laughs> Please never start a <laughs> sentence with what about my asshole <laughs> ever again. <laughs> I love you. Never love say you. those words to me in that order ever again. <laughs> hey, Avi, I have a question. Yes. For DM rolling things. So Aurelio has Warcaster. Mm -hmm. And part of that is the you can use your reaction to make an opportunity attack um, using like a spell or such. How do you rule the uh, opportunity attack range? Because a lot of these spells have like insane ranges. Uh, let me actually look at the the feet. Yeah, I can take a quick screenshot of it if you would like as well. Yeah. One second, and I will get that to you. I'll put it in player chat. Wait. No. 
Uh, da -da 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 -da. Where do we want to put this? Fuck it, we'll put it in the gallery. There you go. It's in the gallery. Okay. You will need to cast cast at least one spell. All right. Uh. Right, Warcaster was one of the horrible feats I was thinking of giving a certain character. Oh boy. Hey, because see. that last thing you can use can be very broken, but it's fine. Well, yeah. Here's here's the thing. Um, it spe specifies opportunity attack, and opportunity attack is when somebody moves out of your melee range. Okay. Um, um, as for the range of the spell itself, since it's already nerfed by uh, one action and only target only that creature, uh, I'm pretty sure any range on the spell would work. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my question was just like, is it, do they move out of the spells range or melee range that's what i was trying to figure out cuz last time i used this uh this feat uh i never got a ruling on it from the dm uh so i wanted to double check cuz i look at the uh, range on chill touch yeah <laughs> noodle, <laughs> noodle be like hey fuck you cast a spell <laughs> It's like, you think you can run from me? No. Also, hey. oatmeal, I'm well, holding the thing you a gunpoint. Um, chill touch <laughs> is a ranged spell attack. So, if you really want to get into the gray zone, you'll need a melee spell attack. But usually those also still have, like, the five foot radius, so, like, that's not too big a thing. Except in the case of Thorn Whip, which is a melee attack with a range of 30 feet. Yeah, I don't so think I have any so melee spells. Yeah, so if your DM rules that melee spells are allowed to count for leaving your attack, of, um, for leaving your range for an attack of opportunity, you could still um, op attack someone thirty feet away. That's oh which is God. why DMs have to be very careful with their wording sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> that would be insane. Yeah, that would well. be insane. This has nothing to do with the conversation, but very quickly, Oatmeal, I'm pointing a gun at you, you absolute <laughs> son of a bitch! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> uh -huh. Man, what are you two up to? That's a fucking $40 tip! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh, yes. Oatmeal! Yes, Actually, is. I side with Noodle now. Get Rex, Marzi. <laughs> ah. <laughs> we love you. <laughs> Rip and pepperonis. <laughs> and god, I'm headed hands because I know this is Marzi points gun, get food money, so you're expecting me to use it right away. I'll be oh honest, this is also just how I commission. <laughs> oh, I know. Holy shit. <laughs> I, I'm gonna let you know right now, I think you are the second or third person to ever tip me that fucking much. <laughs> Up front, you son nice. of a bitch! <laughs> uh, get loved on. God. Yeah. All right, fucking DM me your style <laughs> preferences for this man's. Uh huh. <laughs> son of a bitch. See, I could be mean right back, mm. and usually when it comes to commissions, I don't take the money out until after I get done with everything. Don't do that. A mm. strangling Marzi. Join the oatmeal <laughs> points gun at Marzi. Get a pizza or something, for Pete's sake. <laughs> pizza yeah. sake. Pizza sake. Unfortunately, it has to be something small or else I'll get in trouble, but fine, I'll that's, take the money. That's fair. I have another DM question. Yes. For thanks. Yes, yes, yes. Um, sorry, I'm getting technical on stuff and I know we're a little bit on break. Yeah, no, no, don't worry. Um, um, material components of spells. Yes. Oof. Uh, what about How? 
how do you rule them by way of saying that assuming the character has these things for the um, spells that they need unless it's consumed with each casting or like for specifically as well like I'm assuming uh, da, 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 what are the spells that you have like Aurelio has witch bolt and a twig from a tree that's been struck by lightning like we can assume he has that but for like chromatic orb to cast that you need a diamond worth at least 50 gold mm -hmm. so my question would be would we assume that he has these things um, because he knows them or do you want that to be something that has to be purchased unless it's like like the twig or something similar like I think cured leather is something else that I need for a different spell I'm going to have to think on this because material components. Okay. God. Mm -hmm. Every DM that I have been with uh, has done material components differently. Yeah. And I have never settled on a way uh, to do it. Mm. Especially not for stuff like Bash. Mm. Mm -hmm. Which uses spells regularly. <laughs> um. I will say, um, I do not mind for, like, the smaller stuff, like, uh, feathers and, um, and twigs and whatnot. I do not mind if we just assume that he has that kind of stuff. Yeah. Oh, are we talking about, uh, components and stuff? Yeah, material yeah. components, specifically. Nice. That's good, because, uh... I look at some of the cleric spells and some of the smaller stuff. Mm -hmm. I thought classes who had spell focuses didn't use material components. Oh, no, they do. Oh. Um, well, for druids, I know that um, the arcane focus specifically replaces the need for material components unless the material component costs a um, specific amount of gold. Mm, okay. So, for example, uh, the druidic focus for someone, like, they can just use their staff to cast something that you would need, like, a firefly for. Mm. But if you wanted to cast a spell that you needed a diamond for that had a specific worth value, you could use the druid focus to not need all of the other components but you would still need the diamond ah, yeah okay and like because of being what the fuck are you order of scribes um they do have awakened spellbook which lets your spellbook focus as a um, spell casting focus for wizard spells which is also why I'm asking rolling on this, just to know stuff. Because different campaign I'm in, our poor ranger is having a hell of a time trying to get the world's stupidest material component for, what was it, Summon Beast? Oh no. <laughs> mm-hmm. A gilded acorn. It's so much fun oh, wow. trying to get this stupid gilded acorn. Is Summon Beast right, was it? I think so. I think that's the spell. I might be wrong. And I don't have D&D &D Beyond. Okay, thanks, Safe Ray. Yeah. It's, um... Da, 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 da. Let me pull up the spell real quick. Yeah, it is a feather, a tuft of fur, and a fishtail inside a gilded acorn worth at least 200 gold. Jesus! Hello? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's Oof. a second level spell. Hello? That's stupid. Yeah, no, yeah, that is ridiculous. Mm hmm. So that's why I'm like, uh, I know stuff is probably. The things that I'm asking about are not that bad. Yeah. But that's why I'm like, do we have these? Or what's the ruling? Um. I'm gonna be real. Mm -hmm. Um. With stuff 
for like uh, material components that cost stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, I am going to assume, at least for the beginning of the campaign, that you have these on hand. Okay. I did just, in fact, get an idea for mayhaps a side quest to ensure that you have access to stuff like that, just so we don't mm-hmm. have to worry about it. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. Um, don't you just love the the nuances of uh, raw D&D? D&D? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's great. We love it so much. Love, love being a rules lawyer. Uh, now I gotta write shit into the component pouch. This is great. Me looking at all of the uh, cleric spells to see what components are needed. Mm-hmm. I do know for a fact that most revival spells require diamonds. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm mainly just looking at the like normal stuff. Yeah. Because I already know about the diamonds for the revival stuff, which mm-hmm. makes sense, but still. And correct me if I'm wrong, but most material components aren't consumed unless the spell specifies they're, uh, they're uh, consumed, right? Ah, well, I spaced out what? I thought they were always consumed. Oh, no. They don't. Material no. components? No, unless oh. it's specified that it's consumed, it's not. Wow. Yeah. Mm. I I haven't really had to worry about it, honestly, because, like, uh, the only spellcaster I play is the professor, and uh, <laughs> he's 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 got a time traveling phone box and his background is a noble is specifically so that I can justify him having all of this shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Also Toon Kind has a tendency to play loose with with spell components. components. Yeah. 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 Toon Toon Kind specifically does. Um they're often just full on ignored. Yeah. Yeah. Oh so it can be fun to use to use them like mm-hmm. um in Jade's campaign, my character casts from a component pouch because I think it's neat and fits, and uh, it fits the witch aesthetic. Also, because if you cast sleep on someone, you can straight up pocket sand them, which <laughs> I have done once when oh, casting good. sleep. <laughs> I love that. Um, because it lets you do fun things. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um, there was something I was going to say about material components. Um, but yeah, with stuff like, uh, material components, um, uh, oh, this was a, uh, this was a story about one of the Toonkind games I was in. Toonkind does tend to play fast and loose with a lot of rules in D&D because it's Toonkind, but also, um, with material components specifically, they tend to be hand-waved. Mm-hmm. Um, um, but there was a game that I was in that was a Brecht-Brigade, uh, game, where, hmm. uh, they had to find, like, stuff for a, uh, not really a specific spell, but for a specific ritual. Oh. Um, um and, uh, one of the things they needed was some sort of gemstone. And they had mm-hmm. to go out of their way to uh, Echo's, uh, like, old place of work uh, to find access to this uh, gemstone. I remember that! Yeah! Yeah, 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 yeah! yeah, yeah. Oh, it was, it was a good game, because they literally, it was just like, okay, like, we're gonna do a big, big, big spell, some big magic. Like, we need a gemstone, such and such has it, we have to try and get it. And it was it was a n- lovely adventure, even though it was literally, like, get spell component. Yeah. It was fun. Yeah. So, like, mm-hmm. I'm thinking uh, I might play it a little bit like that. 
Mm-hmm. For the most part, it's going to be hand waved, but like for like stuff that's like plot relevant, of course you're going to need it. Um, mm. If that makes sense. Um, mm-hmm. And again, I am coming up with like different ideas to like help you guys get, uh, not have to worry about that in raw. <laughs> Um, mm-hmm. uh, stuff like that. Anyway. Fair and depreciated. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, we are past time for when we were supposed to go back to, from break. Uh, Speck has told me that, um, we can go on without them because, uh, there are still rotating ideas about their characters. Um, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But for Mm -hmm. the meantime, uh, now that we've gotten past, uh, like, our basic character ideas, this is the part of the game where I'm- uh, part of the session, sorry, excuse me, where Mm -hmm. I am going to ask, um, if there are any lines, uh, at all that you don't want me to cross. Like, of course Mm -hmm. I'm going to be, um, keeping track of the blacklist in this server- and whatnot. Mm-hmm. Um, there are some lines that even I won't cross. And in that same vein, I am going to say right now, um, death is a real thing that you might come across. Your character may die. Mm-hmm. However, if you don't want to have that character stay dead, I am willing to find a way to bring your character back. Mm -hmm. However, there will be consequences. Mm -hmm. Um, But yeah, uh, if anybody at all has something they don't want me to do or uh, want me to be careful with, etc, etc. Even if it's not on the blacklist, even if it's not specifically a trigger, I don't... uh, This is not a trigger for me, but, but like I've asked DMs in the past to like be careful with this. If there is, like, a named NPC that might die off, I ask for a little bit of fair warning because I'm just a mm-hmm. very em- empathetic, I think that's the word, empathetic uh, mm-hmm. person, and I mm. will cry. <laughs> yeah. 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 Shake. yeah. Hmm. So, like, um, yeah. even stuff like that. <laughs> yeah. So, I have a request. Mm-hmm. Um, just because in the past I have played... A character who is more of an asshole. Not just the funny he who like Juvie is. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. But Aurelio is going to be very blunt because of this, because, you know, researcher in the lab, um, not used to talking to people in a I'm going to talk like a person, it's I'm going to talk like I'm researching everything. Um, and when I've kind of played a character like that, my last party would dogpile on them and get very when they didn't agree with this character or if the character wanted to do something different from the party and didn't agree with the party decision. Um, I'd just ask for a heads up or something. Mm -hmm. Um, Because it got to a point where it was very hard to distance Mm -hmm. character and player. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. It's yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. It can get it can get annoying when people cross that line too much. Like yeah. when characters hate each other, and it's like, no, 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 you don't understand. Mm-hmm. Like my character doesn't like yours, but like I'm cool with you. And it's like some people don't entirely. Mm-hmm. Get. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah, I, like... I fully expect conflict to come from this, and I thrive off character conflict and dynamics and stories and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. But just. If we have limits, that would be appreciated. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I will say I genuinely um, will do my best to make sure that, like, even if conflict does come up, we'll find a way to resolve it. Because, mm-hmm. like, while we don't have to, like, be 100% found family by the end of it, mm-hmm. I don't think I would very much enjoy it if we were all at each other's throats the whole time until the end. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. No, definitely. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, I... We have to work together. Yeah, I really do like character conflict as can probably be seen evidenced in Bash and in um, other things. Because, listen, mm-hmm. 
I like it when characters make stupid decisions. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Like objectively stupid ass decisions. Mm -hmm. I uh, look at my draft house character. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but like, if anything does happen, I'll like out of character communication to like feel out how far do we want to go and how we want to resolve things will probably mm -hmm. be good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I know it's on my blacklist and stuff, but like, I just uh, if there is any potential uh, more deadly uh, diseases or the really hard hitting uh, stuff, uh, like I'm fine with it being in backstory and stuff like that, or even coming across it as plot or whatnot. I, I, I don't know if it's gonna come up at all, but like, just uh, getting a heads up on mm. if, like, a certain character or an NPC is getting, like, sick or something. Mm -hmm. oh, and yeah. if it can be fixed or not. Like, just, like, not even, like, how to fix it or anything. If it, if just, if it can be fixed, let me know just so I don't spiral into... Yeah, no, no, no. <clears throat> uh, I have to talked about this in the player's chat before. One of your very first, uh, missions uh is going to be related to a um an old japanese folk tale and i think the name was uh dr redbeard i might be thinking of uh okami den specifically like, though somebody needs a cure for something right and you have to go on a quest to get it yeah um, okay yeah it is a very 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 sick little girl uh but you will be able to find the medicine for her Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I, I'm fine with that kind of plot line and stuff. It's just, I, I just need a, like, a brief heads up just to, so I don't, like, get taken by surprise yeah. and oh, stuff. Yeah. Because yeah. that can make all the difference. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, just also just adding on, uh, if there's, like, any characters that, like, kind of have, uh, like the more serious diseases like Alzheimer's or just something that's degenerative and just mm. that kind of stuff also just please give me a heads up yeah and stuff just because uh <laughs> I, I just look at some of the games uh one of the games that I'd been in uh a while back and uh, I wasn't warned properly for that and uh, I realized it was a trigger so I'm just communicating now Hey, if like there's like even if it's like a magical side effect and stuff, like just let me know if there's going to be something like kind of akin to a disease or something that's in real life. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. stuff. Like just like you don't even have to like well I would appreciate the heads up of hey, this can be fixed or not. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I know and can prepare myself if necessary. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And also, if it is going to be able to be fixed, uh, don't, don't, just don't give me the potential hope to fix it right away. Mm -hmm. uh, like, straight up, just let us know that, like, hey, this is going to happen, but it's going to take a bit of work. Do you have the emotional wherewithal to put that in? Mm -hmm. And, like, mm -hmm. with the fact that, like, there's a quest already and stuff, I already know that there's going to be work put in. Yeah. So I'm I'm completely fine with that. It's yeah. just uh, a previous game did not give me the hey, this is going to be a lot longer than you expect. You're not going to be able to fix this right away, mm -hmm. type mm -hmm. of situation. Yeah. Uh, I will say in that same vein, specifically for this uh, quest, uh, there is not a specific illness uh, mm -hmm. that I am basing mm -hmm. this off of. So. Um, <clears throat> I think for the sake of everybody's, like, uh, comfort, I'm just going to keep it vague. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. I will say for certain, though, um, uh, I'm trying to decide uh, if you will meet the little girl specifically when she is still able to, like, go outside. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, I have not decided on that in case... Uh, in case, like, something happens, I'm giving you that as a heads up right now. Uh-huh. Um, I, I appreciate that. Yeah, no. Thanks. Uh, I blow a kiss in your direction. 
I catch it and send you one back. <laughs> All right. Um, anything else in that uh, vein? Um, any other lines or whatnot? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, most of my stuff is on the blacklist. Yeah. Uh, in terms of like the general bad ends uh, sort of deal. Um, like, I am personally fine with character death if I have a heads up beforehand. Mm-hmm. Um, like, obviously, there can't always be a heads up for in like D and D, but if yeah. it is like a planned thing, then um, like, uh, hey, I don't need to know how. Just that, hey, this person's gonna get it um Mm -hmm. ahead of time so i can prep uh emotionally would be appreciated yes Mm -hmm. yes 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 of course Mm -hmm. um otherwise i think um because we might delve a little bit into these themes in the campaign possibly i look at who i look at who's involved i don't tend to do well with like permanent brainwashing that does tend mm-hmm. to uh be a very bad feel for me mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. um uh, so uh from the dm specifically um brainwashing is going to come up uh likely more than once it is not permanent yeah, like, <laughs> it is not permanent yeah i am <laughs> completely yeah, I'm completely fine with it, like, temporarily and such. Uh, like, just a permanent, complete change of the personality does tend to uh, mess with me a bit, I think. Mm-hmm. Oh, um, I do want to add on uh, for uh, character death, like, for my character specifically, if if he does end up biting the bullet... Uh, I am fine with that, but I um if it's like to a point where the other characters would want him to come back and stuff, if like they've connected enough with him, I wouldn't mind there being some plot point where he potentially gets brought back. Mm-hmm. But like that's all mainly like I'm like if it's narratively sound, I'm fine with the other, like with with uh, there being a plot point where uh, my character potentially gets revived and oh gosh consequences <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. yeah 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 no worries like i said um death is a thing revival can be a thing if you want it to be but there's definitely going to be consequences for it um mm-hmm. i have seen some uh unique spells uh for revival um when i was looking up some backstory stuff for azumi so I already know that there's, like, a lot of fun stuff you can play with mm-hmm. uh, when it mm-hmm, comes to mm-hmm. revival and necromancy. Mm-hmm, um, yep. Yep. <laughs> um, mm-hmm. So I do have ideas, um, but uh, on a more, like, um, I guess um, DM to player uh, kind of... Uh, direct line i forgot the word but like from uh from dm to player um the consequences will likely be varied uh if that becomes a thing that happens more than once so like Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. don't settle uh don't get used to it It, that's basically what i'm trying to say um i like to keep my uh my stories varied (laughs) Fair. Uh, um. Anything else? Uh, I think my blacklist is pretty self-explanatory. If if not, actually, uh, go ahead and DM me. Obviously. Um. Other than that, uh. Um. I nope. Can't actually really think of anything else. All right. Mm-hmm. Uh. In that case, um, we can move on, uh, and talk about this specific thing, um, that is more, um, related to how things run with the Draft House Extended Universe, 
as we all love to say it. Um, how are we feeling about FPSs for this campaign? Mm. Um, mm. I think personally, I am fine with doing it um, a bit like how um, Spirits of the Split Sea will be going, where we give it a session or two to see mm. if it's necessary, mm -hmm. I guess. Mm -hmm. um, of course, that is up to everyone else, though. So. I, mm -hmm. I will say an idea I did have was kind of in that same vein, uh, whether or not it's necessary, uh, but also uh, I am planning to run this campaign in chunks or chapters. Um, there's the baby else in the background that distracts me. Um, so like in between those chapters, I do not mind if you guys want to do some character interactions. Um, Mm -hmm. Stuff with mm -hmm. that, like. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. Um, I. Oh, continue. I was gonna say, I, I think as long as we like, um, uh, uh, coordinate them and like check in with each other, like, okay, this is gonna happen at this time, you know, when they're between this place and that place, and it's just these two or just these three or whatever, uh, you know, just so everybody knows what's happening. Yeah, mm -hmm. like uh, just just to make sure that there's like enough communication there that we're not confused. Like, oh wait, what you were you were where you said what you know? Uh, keep keep us all in the loop. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I might actually uh, make a campaign summaries uh, channel, mm -hmm. um, just so we can keep up to date, and if needed, we can just. Um, add FPSs in there as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, Spec is asking if uh, Blood, Blood Hunter will uh, uh, be a trigger for you, Oatmeal. Oh. Um, I don't think so. No. Because it's not for the same purpose. It's, you know, it's different. All right. The, the, the context is important in this case. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, no, uh, I, you, uh, you've, you've got, got my go ahead. <laughs> um, yeah. Um. Um, what was I going to say? Uh, in that case, uh, I think the general consensus in that, uh, uh, on the FPS specifically is, uh, whether or not it's, um, if it's necessary to do so, um, can be done in between, uh, campaign breaks, uh, like the chapters and whatnot. Um, uh... But if we do do them, at least keep each other updated and, uh, and whatnot. Mm -hmm. yep. Alright, and, uh, I'm gonna move us back to more fun stuff. Mm. Um, interpersonal relations between the party. Um, Please. yeah. Uh, specifically, how do you guys want to start off, um, and I am, again, I'm going to be completely flexible on this. I am good if you guys want to say you have met each other beforehand, before the first session. Mm -hmm. Or if this is your first time meeting. Mm -hmm. um, I think at least for, um, at least for Comet, uh, I, uh, it, it should be it would probably be her first time meeting the others, but uh, I don't know if you want to rule for it or not, but they may or may not have, like, heard of her if they've been around. Yeah, she mm. does travel a lot, and there is a lot of word behind her. Mm. Um, again, this is also a, a question of, like, if some of you want to have met each other, but not everybody else, if that makes mm -hmm. sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. 
because that there is uh, a lot of flavors to this kind of uh, kind of uh, starting off point, uh, if you want to say. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, in Hibiki's case, uh, being just a guy who showed up one day in Yeddo, um, I guess it depends on how long he's been around, but definitely has been traveling, I guess. Uh, if he has met people, it's probably not... Actually, I think Mir and I have talked about a funny little mm-hmm. possible relationship. Um, yeah, uh, if if we still want to keep that, I'm still 100% uh, for that. I uh, think that would be funny. Yes, it would be very <laughs> Um, But yeah, Hibiki uh, is... Probably wouldn't have too many deep relationships with people unless you straight up approached them and said, Hey you're this to me they would wholeheartedly believe it and then um adjust their act accordingly oh my god oh my god, god. <laughs> i cannot stress just how naive this person is love this person this dumb little anthropologist <laughs> oh my god With- i just sit here <laughs> Um, with Harumi... I will say... Oh. oh, you go first, Marzi. Oh, uh, I was just saying, with Harumi being a noble from a family of well-known performers, like, definitely Yeto locals, probably, at the very least, if not her, her family, like, would probably be pr- pretty well-known? Mm-hmm. So it could be, like, recognized from her name. Mm, yeah. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Which I have given her a full name now. She has a family name. Yay! Yeah. Woo! Introducing Rumi Yasuoka. We Woo. love her already. And you were, uh, you were saying, Mira? Uh, I just, I was going to say, uh, Hayato's been around Yeto. You know, for the most part, so it's very feasible if anyone wants to have had him run into their character. I am 100% fine with that. Mm. Mm. Uh, I don't know about Aurelio. I'd be cool <laughs> with people having run into him. But, <laughs> I mean... He got shipwrecked and is probably sticking around the city he stayed in because uh, I read through and realized there's Apatura Shrine there and that's mm. particularly fascinating to him. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I shrug. People might have met him. He's a little weird. <laughs> um, probably sticks out having A, been shipwrecked. And B, you know, very clearly not being from anywhere around here. Mm-hmm. All right. So I have that open, but I don't know if he'd know of people or recognize names. Mm-hmm. No, that's fair. Mm-hmm. Um, um, in, in that case, um, I might just play this by ear for our first session and be like, okay, Mm -hmm. you guys Mm. uh, are probably meeting each other for the first time. Uh, You can roll your respective roles to see if you have heard of or have seen this person uh, before. Mm -hmm. Uh, Et cetera, et cetera. Um, Yeah. Before we move on, Spec, you have some character thoughts? I simply hold up Blood Hunter. <laughs> Blood Hunter is really good. Hell mm, yeah. Yeah. And I did a concept little Blorbo. Mm. Where's my Blorbo concept? <laughs> it's a bitch. Mm. Listen, we've got assholes, we've got bastards, now we just need the bitch. 
<laughs> oh, uh, yes, the important oh, ecological ooh. niche of the party. Mm -hmm. Very nice. We have the respectable one, the bitch, the bastard, <laughs> the just the guy, the the himbo, <laughs> the <laughs> one who actually has the brain cell. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Man. I may I may be changing the race, but I mm -hmm. simply hand we have a class at least so there's stuff to work with now. Yeah. Oh yeah. Very fair. Any of you change to a blood hunter, I will be coming after you personally. <laughs> nah. I'm you going are... to triple class. No! <laughs> I'll kill you myself! Class. You this triple class, I'm gonna class. throttle you! Nah. <laughs> if I have to change it again, I will personally come for you. No, I'm, I'm really- I'm really set again. on Monk. I would never. I can't Noodle, I'm looking at you right now! I will Genuinely, you. I with this character, it is only these two classes. If I <laughs> fuck it up, I fuck it up his lore. I can't. No. Good. Hayato <laughs> is a cleric. He's not multi-classing. Mm -hmm. Me holding think. all of you back with a pole. Do not touch this one, please. <laughs> it's okay, Spec. You know, you know I can never play anything besides a bard. <laughs> is that a challenge, Marzi? I... Darling, <laughs> I... I'd point you towards my many character sheets on Understood. TV Beyond. Understood. So what I'm hearing, what I'm hearing, is I need to make a campaign where there's no bards. Fuck you, oh. fuck you, fuck there's you. There's some <laughs> kind of lore reason. <laughs> there's no music, there's no dance, there's no magic, and I, yes, so I force to you to make- <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> I force you to make a fighter class. No! Even if you can, even if you, even even if someone at some point tr like tries to strong arm me out of bard, I refuse to play a martial class. So absolutely the fuck not. I am caster understood. and only caster. Understood. This is a challenge accepted. No, nope. um, different campaign right now. You had a campaign. Mm -hmm. Kill you. Understandable. Have a nice. Yeah. All right. I'm just Honestly, I think Marzi would sooner uh, die and not be in something than be forced to play a non-caster. Correct. I mean, no, Marzi, you would no. I love you, Spec. I love you so much. You're my baby Sib. I, and I, I will love not do that to you. you. I, you better the fuck not. Why? <laughs> 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 you would not do that to you, but I do have to. As your baby Sid, I do have to tease you. All right, and I get to tease you because you're a little baby. You shit. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm getting back on track. Yes. Before I murder Marzi through right. a screen. You and what baby hands? Uh, Spec, mm. you DM'd me maybe from either capital or a small uh country uh country town. Is that right? E. E. Uh, so, um, I couldn't remember the other name. Let me look up. Either from the capital or possibly the, um... Fuki? Uh, Fuki? Yes, I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, thank you. <laughs> We're gonna have to put the pronunciations <laughs> with these, I'm sorry. No, that's fair and valid. I will do my best. Again, uh, <laughs> I don't think any of us are Japanese here. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, so that is a, uh, full disclosure kind of thing. Um, but yes, um, 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 uh, Fu Fuapuki is a, um, a small country town. Um, it is very tiny, very kind of like out in the middle of nowhere. There is a shrine there. It is not dedicated to a specific deity. Um. Uh, main export is well. Main um, practice is farming. Dodge, dodge. It will be one of the two. It depends on where I take the character. We we got the class backstory, race, anything. Still in the air. All I know is they're probably gonna be chaotic neutral. Oh, I love that. I love that already. <laughs> yeah. 
Because I really love playing chaotic neutrals. You're so valid. Um... And, um... Uh, as far as other character stuff goes, um, we will be uh, talking about that later in the future, probably when it gets closer to actual campaign go time. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. um, but yeah, that's uh, our party makeup so far. Um, ba -ba -bum. Uh, where was I? We did talk about um, character relations. Um at least with the party. As far as, like, um, other stuff goes, I will try to give y'all, like, if you want the option, I am willing to find NPCs for y'all to, like, uh, either adopt or flirt with or actually, <laughs> um, will I be good at it? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> Told you. Just channel, channel every dating sim. Act like you're Juby. <laughs> um, Odd. God. Um, Jubilee is not a standard for romance. Do not do this. Do not. Uh, <laughs> um, 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 but yes. Uh, as I do a think. Um, speaking of NPCs. I do have at least the first few uh, planned out. Mm -hmm. um, um, like I said uh, earlier, uh, there is going to be a quest um, uh, involving a little girl who is sick, uh, her mother, and the doctor she is uh, getting treated by. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh all three of these NPCs do not have names yet. <laughs> um, uh, more mm -hmm. recurring care, uh, NPCs, however, uh, one of which I've already told um, Marzi, the uh, half-orc bard, um, Yodo. Um, mm -hmm. And um, who is uh, going to be centralized in Okashima specifically. Um, Uh, where was I? Ba, ba, ba. Yes, uh, there is going to be a, uh, another NPC who is going to be looking after the shrine in Sonomaru. This, she mm. is a, um, a, uh, warlock named Hanada, and, uh, she is a tomb kind. Mm. Uh, Ooh. reminding you all that Yeto is not Einquell, it is very far from Einquell, so, um, Toonkind are rare in Yeto. Mm -hmm. Uh, I have not decided a, a sub-race yet, but I have thought about the hilarity of making her a uba in mm. The oh, most tune. Yeah. The most tune. <laughs> Just to see how your characters react. <laughs> oh boy. We love a good UPA and we love a good UPA. -in. Uh but she is a, like I said, she is a mask warlock, um, who's watching over the shrine in um in Sonomaru. Um and full disclosure, um, because this is a persona inspired um uh, campaign and because um, in current draft house timeline uh, there are the persona pro tags I may or may not be dropping references to these characters ancestors um, hell yeah yes yes mm. funnily, give me that fucking Pokemon Legends Arceus shit <laughs> funnily enough there is a uh, canon occurrence of this in um, in uh, Persona Two. 
uh, where they do talk about the main character's ancestor. Mm -hmm. Yes, Mitsuya's ancestor is probably going to be making an appearance. Mm. Um, yeah. I do not have much on him other than he is a uh, wandering samurai. Mm. Um, so Legal. that's going to be fun. Um, that's pretty much um, all I've... Actually, no, it's not. Hang on, I almost forgot something. I put my hands together. Um, here's a uh, another uh, thing that we're going to shift topics to as soon as I take a drink of water. Mm -hmm. So, um, I'm sure you've all heard me ramble on end, even if you have not played Persona uh, yourselves. Um, a major... Um, theme with Persona is the concept of um, people uh, being represented by a major arcana from the tarot deck. This is entirely optional, but if you guys want to pick out an arcana for your characters to mm. base on. I uh, and you let me know. I will uh -huh. incorporate that into the campaign. That is a promise. Vibrates. Mm. Mm. Do you have that that um I forget if you had a quiz uh that that you um I did. Um I I'm thinking it might be a little uh <laughs> You towards giving everyone the world? Yeah, it's yeah, uh, <laughs> the last the right. last time I shared that quiz, um it gave so many characters the world, which is just Wow. Yeah. Bizarre. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh I'll I'll see it I'll see if I can figure it out myself. Yeah. Can I like DM you for hope because I look at how much trouble I'm having with characters who I have everything developed for, let alone this floor pope. Yeah. No, you're fair. That that you're fine on that. Uh, but uh, <laughs> sorry, I just saw players chat. Thank you, Fletch. Uh, Listen, it is so tempting, and you know why. <laughs> I do know why. <laughs> <laughs> Me sitting here, not really knowing which Arcana uh, Hayato would actually uh, fit best. Um, help. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I have several ideas already. Oh no. Yeah. Uh, girl help. <laughs> girl help. Um, uh, as far as like, um, that goes, just keep me uh, posted on what you guys are interested in. Um, if it does change, again, let me know. Um, I am keeping track of this. Um, say to a stretch. Another, um, another theme that is going to be played on a lot is the, uh, idea from Jungkook Psychology with Shadow Cells, mm -hmm. which, mm -hmm. um, I'm going to just briefly summarize it as best as I can right here. Um, it is the part of yourself that is so, so repressed, uh, that you yourself would not know what this uh, repressed self is like. And mm -hmm. if you were to see a manifestation of your, your shadow self, uh, it may not appear as the same race you are. Mm. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm looking at that. That's, that's why, <laughs> that's why uh, in Persona games, when, um, when shadows... Uh, when boss shadows, at least, uh, attack you, uh, they transform into, like, really big monsters. Um, at least in the modern games. They don't do this in Persona 2 for, uh, early game reasons. Um, um, the cool thought had not yet occurred to them. It did not occur to them yet. Anyway. <laughs> but, like, that's also playing into the idea of masks and whatnot. Um, 
your other selves may not be the quote-unquote same race as you are. Um, mm -hmm. You may not, e even if you were to see a manifestation of one of your aspects, you may not recognize it as yourself. Um, so when it comes to shadow selves specifically, I ask that you uh, have an idea at least in mind mm -hmm. uh, for a shadow self of your character because it mm -hmm. will become important in the future. Mm -hmm. Not. Mm -hmm. Not. Um, yeah. And honestly, I think mm -hmm. that's everything from my end. Um, clap, 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 clap. Cup, 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 cup. <laughs> thank you, thank okay. you. Cup, 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 cup. Golf claps. Um, is there anything, um, anything at all that you guys have questions about? Um, um mm. I know you guys were asking, like, um, more mechanical questions, uh, earlier during our break. I do not mind answering more on recording, just so we have them in, uh, in a specific space mm -hmm. um i think i've i think i'm good mechanically um the only mechanic questions i can think to ask you are uh dm stuff <laughs> okay yeah no that's fair uh if you guys have like more specific questions just mm -hmm. dm me uh, if you guys come mm -hmm. up with stuff later, DM me, um, or put them in the player's chat, um, mm -hmm. uh, whatever you're comfortable with, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, I think the ruling I'm gonna go for here- oh, yes! That is- uh, there is one thing I forgot. Um, we are start starting at level 5, but all mm -hmm. of our mm -hmm. players are going to be starting with an- one un uncommon item. Uh, Mm. Ooh. Oh. Yeah. Um, I think I've mentioned this before, but uh, if you guys forgot about it, this is your reminder. Just let me know what uncommon item you pick, uh, just mm. so we have it before the first session. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice. Oh. Cool. I don't think I have any other questions then. Yeah. Oh, this gives me so much potential. This is fun. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, we are going to, as far as, like, uh, mechanics stuff that I can think of, uh, for now, um, I can't think of a reason why we would break from this, but um, we are going to keep the raw ruling of um, three attunement slots. Um, yeah. It just mm -hmm. because I've seen Bash. I've seen Bash. Uh, I've mm -hmm. seen how crazy it can get. Um, and even then, I'm not going to make it easy for you guys to get uh, items. Um, I am thinking of letting you guys level up in the same way Draft House does points, that point system. So, like, every few sessions, uh, y'all will level up. Mm -hmm. Um, et cetera, et cetera. Um, though if you want to trade in those, uh, points for something, uh, let me know and we can work something out because this is a very, uh, I guess different campaign from the rest of Draft House. Uh, I will be playing a little fast and loose with it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and, um, with crit damage, mm -hmm. um, uh, we are doubling whole damage, uh, whatever, mm -hmm. whatever you roll, modifiers included, uh, you double it. Uh, mm -hmm. this might change for specific boss fights. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, and, um, Spec, you've said that you're still not sure about the race, uh, yet. Yeah, no. Um, the race is still there. Yeah, no, don't worry about it. Um, you can pick any race. If it is a homebrew or a unearth or arcana, just let me know and I will take a look at it. Um, I'm pretty open to ideas. Uh, but yeah, uh, that's about all that I have here. Um, um, I am going to call this session over. Uh, oh, yeah. Cool. Cool. Oh. Thank you guys so much for listening, both now and in the future. Uh, and thank you to my wonderful players for sitting through this with me. <laughs> mm. Oh, it was fun. Yeah, it was nice. Yeah. Um, mm. I enjoyed it. Uh, we did yeah, get- session zeros are very nice. Yeah, they, they are very loose, and it does help me iron out some stuff. Um, but yes, um, that is all for now, folks. We are going to bid you a good time zone. Bye! Bye! Bye. Bye. Bye.